Previously on The Walking Dead. Shut up, Carly. Ugh, I've heard enough out of you. Now, what the fuck's the problem? You're not coming with us. I don't know much about you folks, but I can tell you as sure as the sun's gonna come up tomorrow. Y'all keep going on like this, and that girl ain't gonna make it. What do we do? Give me the gun, kid. I'll do it. I think we should look for your parents. Really? Yeah. You need to know if they're okay and, well, if they're not, what happened to them? I was the one giving the bandits supplies. What? It's all my fault. We gotta jump! What? No way! Fine. You stay here and we'll go with your lady. The hell you will! right here and you be sure to find me whether Lee wants you to or not now what I need who the fuck I don't know but I doubt we're gonna be happy when we find out Just for a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now, Clementine. Maybe later, okay? Okay. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? The sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who the hell is this? Hello? Hello? I said answer me!
hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Everybody, run! opened up your wound. You're bleeding. Shit, it's gonna get infected. We've gotta get him inside. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? No, they didn't see us. We were too fast for them. I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's, it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katja and Duck, at least not with me. Yeah, well, I figure that's probably for the best. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. No way I'm gonna be able to bust through that.
How's it coming? Found a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah. We'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We can just figure out how to get in. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest. But I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so... Where's the dog? Looks like something was buried here. The shovel is never not useful. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. What's buried down there? Whatever it is, it's been here a while. You, I can smell it from here. Gross! Clementine, honey. Come sit with me in Omid. Let Lee work. Oh, God, the smell. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not Jesus. cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure you're... I said I'm fine, okay? Nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. No good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, are you okay? Say something! Ta-da! Good job, Clem. Yeah, way to go. You did good, right? Yes, you did. You did good. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in.
No, it's okay. I'm good. I feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that, and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever it was, seems like they're following us. I don't like being followed. All the more reason to get on a damn boat where we can't be followed. I'm not going back out there anytime soon. Omid needs to rest. I'm with Kenny on that. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head to the river together. Deal? Suit yourselves, but I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. place seems secure at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Can I help? What if there's another locked door? I think you've been helpful enough for one day, kiddo. Why don't you just see if Chris and Omid need anything, okay? Okay. All empty. that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. Probably not the best idea right now. I need to stay frosty. Nothing hiding in here. All clear in here. Just one more to check. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Nah, just dog food. 
And there's some whiskey in the back. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Before. Can't do it now. Before it was your own son. Now it's just a kid who needs your help. You can do this, Kenny. You need to do this. I know. I just. Oh, God. Here. This will make it clean and quick. I don't know that I can do it, Lee. I know that you can. I couldn't even help my own boy. That was your own flesh and blood. No father could have done that. But you can help this boy. Do what's right for him. Send him on his way. We should bury him. I'll take care of it.
boss, you hear? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No. Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it, it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? I'm worried about Omid. He's in bad shape. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. Keep your eye out for Chuck. He might be waiting for us around here. Yeah, sure. Son of a bitch! That bastard's fucking with us again! It's another trap! No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. What the hell is going on? I have no idea, but someone must be ringing those bells. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Hmm. Let's keep moving.
Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... Oh my god. There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. might still be salvageable. You better be right about this. I said it might be. Give me a fucking break. I'm a fishing captain, not a miracle worker. I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Great. Needs a quarter to work. Built solid. <laughs> Fuck. What is this meant to be? Some kind of warning? We'll do something like this. Siphoned, tires removed, engine parts missing. Looks like this thing has been stripped clean. Fuck! What's up with the boat? It ain't gonna work. Hulls crack beneath the water line, plus someone stripped out the battery. You can't fix it? What the... what the hell is that? A fate worse than death. Abandoned, like every other place in this city. No way that one's salvageable. Nothing but water, not a boat to be seen. What the hell? Get down! Get down! Why the hell are we hiding? Someone came down from that building at the end of the street. Where'd he go? Saw him run into that newsstand. Could be our bell ringer. How about we go find out? Sounds like a plan. 
Okay, you head up the middle of the street. I'll go around the side, cover your flank. We'll come up on him quiet, take him by surprise. We just want to talk to this guy. Oh, we're gonna talk. from Crawford. You're not the guy on the radio. I'm not a guy at all. Full marks for observation. Kenny, no, it's not our guy! Us. Who the hell are you people? I ask you first. The name's Molly. Molly? I'm Lee. This is Kenny and Clementine. I'm not looking for any trouble. You guys really aren't from Crawford, are you? No, I'm from Macon. Kenny here's from Florida. She didn't ask for our life stories, Lee. What's the deal with this Crawford place? You sure you want to know? When everything started going to shit, some people got together and sealed off that whole neighborhood. Folks willing to do anything to stay alive, stop the dead getting in. I try to avoid them. Why? Let's just say they have a zero-tolerance policy for anyone who won't, or can't, live by their rules. So how'd you know we weren't them? Because there are no children in Crawford. Not anymore. What do you mean, no children? Why not? No children, no elderly, no one with an advanced medical condition. Basically, no one who might be a burden on the community. Crawford's all about the survival of the fittest. That's how they survived, while the rest of the world went to shit around them. Jesus Christ. Well, just the opposite when you think about it. What exactly did Crawford do with all these burdens? What happened to them? Well, you met some of them already. Fuck me. Yeah. Anyone who got sick, anyone too old, anyone they figured wasn't strong enough to survive. To them, those people were just mouths to feed, a drain on their precious resources. How do you know all this? Everyone in Savannah knew. What was going on inside Crawford got passed around like a ghost story. Except this one was true. been rigging those bells all over town? Yeah, that would be me. I knew it! Lee, I knew she was the one who'd been following us! Fucking with us! Get that finger out of my face, Grandpa, before I jam it straight up your ass. 
I haven't been following you. I don't even know who the hell you people are. Calm down, Kenny. The voice on the radio was a guy, remember? Yeah, well, whoever you are, ringing those bells this morning nearly got us all killed. Raised the dead all around us. That's the idea, genius. It's how I get around. I ring a bell in one neighborhood to attract the local geeks towards it. Buys me some time to scavenge the areas they cleared out. Geeks? Is that what you call them? Yeah, you know, like at the carnival? They'll eat anything, alive or dead. That's pretty smart, the bells. Doesn't take much to outsmart the dead. Bunch of dumbasses. You just gotta move fast, get in and out before they start to wander back again. Look, I'm gonna ask you people again. You're not from Crawford, so who the hell are you? What are you doing here? Came down here looking for a boat. Hoping to get our people out of here and find someplace safe. Yeah, good luck with that. Anyone with a boat took it out of here as soon as people started eating each other. Any that got left behind, Crawford stripped them for parts. Cars, too. There's gotta be something. If there was, do you think I'd still be here? I've been over every inch of this city. This whole place is picked clean. God damn it! Fuck! Hey, moron. You want to keep your voice down? Shit. Since you're not getting on any boat, I'd advise you folks to go back to where you came from before... Great. Isn't that the... the way we came? Fuck. The gunshot must have brought him back. Isn't there another way back to the house? Mom, is there a... What the hell do you think you're doing? I'll tell you what I'm not doing. I'm not getting eaten. And what about us? What about you? Please, you can't just leave us. Come on, make it fast. Oh, fuck me. Come on, come on, hurry. Come on. Come on, man. One good jump. Clementine, can you hear me? If you can hear me, just get back to the house, okay? I'll meet you there.
things by myself. that up on my own. I'm not gonna be able to pry these bars with this. those old nuclear fallout shelters. Look at all this. It's enough to keep people alive for months. Wonder if someone's living down here.
Who are you? Nobody. Just lost. Trying to get back home. Yeah, well... You took a wrong turn. This is our home, not yours. And you're not welcome here. Look, I'm sorry I disturbed you folks. I'll just be going. You can't let him leave. He's from Crawford. If he goes back there and they find out we're down here... Are you from Crawford? They don't lie to me. I'll know. Where else can he be from? Everywhere else around here is dead. I think you better start talking. Look, I got cornered down here. All I want is to get back out to the streets and find my group. Bullshit! You can't trust him, Vernon. You can't let him leave. What do you want me to do? Shoot him in the head? Why not? Be more of a mercy than anyone from Crawford ever showed us. Think, Vernon. What do you think they'll do if they find out we're down here, right under their feet? Damn it. You're right. I'm sorry, friend. Can't take the risk. You threatening me, old man? Because you're not gonna like how that goes. Put the fucking gun down before you really make me mad. He's bluffing. You think so? Try me. Keep back, or I swear I'll shoot. No, I don't think so. I know killers. I've seen my share. You ain't got the luck. And that means you ain't got the balls. Now drop the goddamn gun! Oh my god. Vernon, what have you done? Now tell me, who the hell are you people? You say you're not from Crawford, but you sure as hell act like it. Guess you'll just have to take my word for it. Who the hell are you people? Why should we tell you anything? Because now I'm the one holding the gun. Start talking. We are from Crawford. Or were. We got out of there when they started sealing up the place. Started weeding out the sick and the old. So their perfect survivor society wouldn't be threatened. No room for weakness or vulnerability in their little master race. You don't look that old, so... You sick? My friend here asked you a question. We're sick. We belong to a cancer survivors group that used to meet at the hospital here. Now we're in remission, but that wasn't good enough for Crawford. <laughs> They'd already rounded up five of us before we managed to hole up and hide down here. What is this? The morgue? Yeah. Irony's always top of my list when I'm looking for a place to survive. Now, I don't care if you have a gun or not. I want to know how you found your way down here. A few of us got boxed in by walkers up on the street. Came down here trying to get away. Now I just want to get out of here and get back to my own people. Well, that sewer system you came through runs all over the city. It'll take you wherever you want to go. Thanks. I think I can figure out my own way back. Vern, you're not just gonna let him go back out there alone, are you? Those sewers are like a maze. He's got no chance of finding his way back without a guide. You're not gonna be able to get out of here on your own, but we all got our own problems. Two of our group are sick and need constant care, and I'm the only doctor here. Besides, why should we help you? Look, I'm sorry if I scared you. I just want to get back to my people. Back to Clementine. She's your daughter? No. She lost her real parents. I'm doing what I can. You're not seriously considering going with him. It's all right, Bree. I had a daughter, too. Lost her in the first days. I'll be damned if I'll just sit back and let that happen to someone else. We need you here. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Let's go. Clementine? Clem? Molly? Oh, hey, you made it back. Who's this? He didn't tell you about me? Understandable, I guess. 
I'm the one who put that beating on him when he tried to jump me back at the river. Who's the fossil? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. He helped me get back here after we got separated. I think you have something that belongs to me. Lee, thank God you're back. Krista, what's wrong? It's Omid. He's gotten worse. Much worse. We have a man wounded. Who's this? This is Vernon. He's a doctor. Oh, thank God. Could you take a look at him? You have to help us. Please. I'll see what I can do. Take me to him. Omid, honey. You're gonna be all right. Lee brought a doctor. All right, let's take a look at him. I work better without an audience. I'm sure you have more things of your own to attend to. Clementine. Clementine? <laughs> 